Thank you. Let's get you out of here. Can you fight? I'd be happy to. My thanks. I can't believe I let those Malakes sneak up on me. Ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own. You are wandering around on your own. You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. I'll help you get to the palace. Well, I'm in luck then. What do I call you? Alexios. I'm Odessa. Named after the great Odysseus. Why would you want to go up there? I am a descendant of Odysseus. I'm on a pilgrimage. You're a descendant of the former king of Ithaca. And the man who created the Trojan horse and defeated the Cyclops? The one who traveled to the land of the Lotus Eaters? The one the Odyssey is about? Yes, I am. Why? You're not the first who said that, is all. Well, I trust I don't need to prove my lineage to get up to the palace. We should head to the palace while we have the chance. This is it? It's just rubble. What were you expecting? I don't know. Something more grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here, I might understand him more. Well, do you? Not at all. Take me to my boat. I'll pay you there. Well, this is for you. Such a disappointment. Why is that place so important to you? Are you joking? Odysseus lived there, ruled there. He ended the Trojan War, eluded Scylla and Charybdis. He had everything. Loyalty, love, fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods, too. That caused him a lot of trouble. And it made him a legend. cute right now, as if nothing can get in your way. I don't usually like being called cute. In time, you'll learn to love all the things I have to tell you. You seem so certain. I've had lots of success in the past. I'm sure you have. 
So, what do you think? I think I was in a much poorer mood before now. There's just so much I desire. To be as great as Odysseus. Where do I even begin? If you want Odysseus' greatness, you have to do it your own way. He was famous because of his cunning. What have you done? I've traveled all the way here. To see the ruins of Odysseus' life, not to live your own. I should know better than to take advice from a mercenary. Leave me. Alexius, good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Mistheus. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyos. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. There's a first time for everything. What do you say? Why me? Because no one knows who you are. You're invisible. Who is this general? They call him the wolf. He do something to offend you? Yes, he's costing me drachmi. He's not good for business. Anything I should know about Megaris? Only that it's the most valuable land in the Greek world. From a military perspective, of course. Unfortunately for Megarians, it has two very powerful neighbors who just can't seem to play nice. In the tug of war between Corinth and Athens, Megaris is their own. I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? If I had a boat, we wouldn't be having this conversation. A shame. It's too far of a swim, I'm afraid. Even for you. I'll find one. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming, and the wolf is on the wrong side. War? With who? The entire Greek world is at each other's throats. What rock have you been hiding under exactly? Kefalonia. 
And how do I know you're on the right side? Because I'm the one paying you. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Fokis. I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder. It's a fine ship, Telemenes. Alexios! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. What will it take for you to part with her? <laughs> Couldn't let her go for less than 100,000. 100,000? Who has that much? Someone who's serious about buying a ship. You think craftsmanship like this is given away? What if I told you I had obsidian to trade? i tell you I still need 100,000 drachmi. Besides, even if I took your obsidian, a ship this size needs an army to sail it. This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telemenes. Not sure if this helps. But rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Rumors mean nothing. Don't believe everything you hear. Rumor also has it his ship is docked in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. So I can take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone. Come on. Come on.
be Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. Got to be careful not to get spotted. That's my witness. I swear! Which one? What difference does it make? Uh. All of them! I swear! All of them! I have never heard so much fucking god talk from one man in all my days! Let him go. No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Or did it hurt your feelings? I don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I, uh, but you're so fat. I mean, big, strong. And you really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me, and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it? Get it. Rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. By Zeus, these Kefalonian bandits are no joke. Good thing you're on my side. They really seem to be. 